Hello YouTube, today I'm going to be doing a review on Iconoclasm for the iPad. So, recently Iconoclasm has an update where you can use it on the iPad. It works very well. And I even bought it for $3 on the city store. So, it's hard to get cracked, so I just decided to support the developer. And I'm going to be showing you it. Just look up Iconoclasm on your installer, and you'll find it. You can download it, and then you'll be right here. So, what we got to do... Is tap on it in the settings. It doesn't show up in other places, and it shows you you can custom make each page different. But what I did was put the uniform layout, which is right here, and you have a ton of options. For example, I have eight by six. So I'm going to show you that, so you can see. Here's the Springboard. I have like all my apps on one page. It's definitely useful, especially because the iPad spaces out the apps incredibly so much that it doesn't make it look good and it's hard to use and this helps a lot and if we go back into settings then you can go into iconoclasm and I'll show you some cool ones like you go to layout and we'll do triangle iconoclasm apply changes in respring And you can download more things for Iconoclasm in Rock. If you see it, there's like so many, like any number by any number, you can just download. And you can see right here, I have my triangles of apps. And I don't really. So it's, it's cool to show for once, but it's not very practical. So I'm going to be changing that to back to what I had. So you can get tons of these, download them off of your installer. Just look up Iconoclasm, you'll have tons of results. That's all I really have to say for this review. Thanks for watching, and if you have an iPad, jailbroken, iPod, anything, subscribe.